we thank God for his power. Amen. All over the world, I greet you in Jesus' name. Amen. I am still talking about the ability to see. Ye danyamia si, e woni tumi e hon. O vya si afadangina, mi chiamu wo yesu dimu. Mi gusua e kasafa, di betu mi amawa huna diye ye e hon. Let's hear the heaven's report for today. I am the source of everything. Every perfect gift emanates from me. If you have me, you have everything about me. So strive to have me in your life. And you will not struggle in anything. Your life will be with ease because of me. Thus says the Lord. Amen. This is Pastor Dr. Kukudazi reporting live from heaven. Yenti ene heaven amane bono. Adie nina efre mimo. Na achadie nsua eye pe nina ansoso efre mimo. Se uwo mea uwo adie biara efa mehon. Enu nti prese ube uwo me ewo wabrabomu. Na uwo nchewo ewo adie biara emu. Wabra bonu ebe koti ewo foso esan menti. Sedye erade sieni. Amen. We your sofo Dr. Kukudazi mamani ba midi free heaven. Amen. Last week I ended by telling you that when people can't tell the cause of someone's ailment and don't know what to do to help that person, they leave the person to die. Na what you try mono? Me wey wa bra me kanchira ose. Se ni pen to me unu o ni pa da se ni bi yari. Na umso su nim di omo beye edi abo asa ni pa noa. Omo jaima ni pa no ewu. That was what happened to the man in Gadarain that I talked about last week, that his family didn't know what to do about his condition. Sa ene tu be manwa na awo Gadarain fo nu kromwa na ne busi an fo entu mi hunu di ombe ya omu di be fa tibia na awo manu ahono. They took him to be insane and left him in the cemetery in the hands of those wicked demons because they didn't understand what was going on in his body and also didn't know what to do to help him. Omo fa ni tibi ya nise e ye dambo e nunti na omo jane wa siye ye e ma adamo ni nwa na wontrimu ye deno e san se Na untumin tiasi ye di ene e kosu wo ni nipe duye ni mo. Na fin soso, na wo nim di omu beya, na obe tumi di abuano. That is what I am talking about. That some people suffer from demonic oppression because the people around them, including even their pastors, can't determine what is wrong with them. Sa huwa sem e na mekeng. Se e nipe bidom huna mani. E fri adamoni shesu o e mo. E san se nipe e cha wong huwa shi anu. A impo woma sofu o ka huwa bino. Womun tu min hunu di e e ha womu. And I said that that should not be the case. As long as Christ lives. He is the solution. To all the problems of humanity. Now me can say, "Enye sa ne se se ye kura wa bra Christo eti asidi." Onu ne one sa no edima adasama how ina. 
He is the omniscient Lord who knows the demons behind every human problem and has power to cast them out from your body for you to be free. Yeah. That is why I said last week that my Lord Jesus starts when demons end. I don't think I may catch it on our church. I will say, Mira Yesu Christo Shasi, I will be here at that money up him. When you reach your wit's end, that is when you need the Lord Jesus Christ the most. So we are now copying one. Oh, and now we hear a radio Jesus Christo. Pa. But unfortunately, that is not what is going on. The pastors who are supposed to let people see this, don't let them see. Now, Rahul Sebni said, I saw a software and I saw a woman in the world. It's because they also don't believe that Christ is the answer to the problems of their church members. Ningina asit and he said, Woman so so ni ni se Christo and a yem waye and the ma wan safu manu how biara omu bekomu. That is why such pastors invite medical doctors and nurses to their churches for medical screening. And after that, tell the church members to buy the recommended medication from them. And until as a software, no, a tun safre a dokuta fo ene a yarefe fo se. O mumra unsorum na o mumra fiche ni pano ni pedu e mumra se yari ebi o mwa na o via no akachira safubani se on ton rodoa o mumbe ton ton e di ama o mano. Hey. It is very, very shameful and unfortunate mm -hmm. that medical screening goes on in a church. Hey, hey, adia, hey, rehuna, hey, ni wu pa 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 pa. Say, yari mu hivi mu, ekoswa wo asori dem. Hey, when that happens, what does it imply? It denotes that the pastor doesn't believe in the supernatural healing of God. He believes in medicine. That is why he invites medical staff to the church and wants the church people to rely on medicine rather than God's power. Yeah. Onji nyanku pon tu mi ngwa ngwa soa e sa yari eno ni. E dro eno o jidiye. E nun ti na otun sa fra yari fe fwa sa omu mra so no. Na asar fwa no so so. E mfa wamu nto e dro so. E nche nyanku pon tu mi e so no. That is a very sad situation. E yadia e yara hupa. That even pastors insinuate that God can't heal his children. It is medical doctors who can do that. Hey. And he said, A software a patch they say, Nyankupon into me in sa ne ma yare. Ne mum a ye dokutafo and a bit to me ayesa. And if a pastor doesn't believe in the supernatural power of God, what will church members also do? Eh? eh? Mm. They will also put their trust in doctors more than God. Yeah. The same Paul Safu and J Nyanku Pon to me when I was so near. And you're not Safu Bao Yede. Eh? Almost also do Omu Batu, a doctor Tafoso, a Chen Yami. 
And that is the most unfortunate thing that is happening in the house that is called church. Hey! And you dear, a idea, a one more pa, nay, a rehu semua, a si, a wo fear, your friend, a sorry, a mo. Hey! It's all because such pastors don't believe that the God they preach about is the healer and can heal his people. Nina asichre ni se. Sa asofu ono inji ni se nyame ya omu kane hon se mpano. Ono ni yare safu. Na obetu mi asa ni mkrofu yare. That was why when demons attacked the pastor at the convention that I talked about last time and he collapsed. The other pastors were calling for a doctor and didn't allow me to pray for the pastor who collapsed. It's because they don't believe in prayer. And untina wa bra da money to share or so for no so a wo a Christoph wonu in she munasia me can one sem debino a chile wonu ah o chari no na so for na kanu fre dokuteni na wan preso a maman ko bompaya ma so for no o chari no they say o mun yin pa boni to them god is not the healer he cannot heal it is medical doctors who heal and if that is the case why do they say they are preachers says the omo pastor they say enye nyame ne sayare on to me sayare e ya doctor for en sayare na sa na omo pastor dia i don't know omo say omo yen se baka fo eh if pastors really believe that god is the healer they wouldn't refer their church members to doctors for them to diagnose the type of disease that their church members suffer from as i said last week se asofo gidi pa se nyankopon ni yare safo a wo mfa wo masafo man in koma doctor fo se wo nya hwifie mu na wo hwe yare kra ha wo masafo man no se de me kan na otwe twa mu what is interesting is that at times the doctors that the pastors rely on and refer their church members to for medical diagnosis also say that some diseases are incurable. Mm -hmm. So they refer such cases back to the pastors and say that such diseases are not hospital disease. <laughs> they are spiritual. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting, eh? They are not can say. I told you, a doctor for no, a soft one do a mo to a mo so. Now, a mo do a soft one man come a mo say. A mo ye a yari fi a fi fi mo no. A mo so so a can say. Yari bi wa wa untu mensa. And untu a mo sa de sa en semno a ba a soft one ho. Now a can say sa yari we de a ya yari sabi a yari. Na sa yare no e sunsu mu yare e ni kapao you see the doctors they rely on see something differently wo usa doctor fo na wo mu di wo mu tu wo mu so no wo mu bi bi fofro when doctors say that what does that tell such pastors it should tell them that the doctors understand spiritual problems more than them. Say, Doku Tafu Kasa, Ediena, Esese Kasa Chere, Sa Asofor. Esese Chere Omu Se, Doku Tafu Ono Kra, Omu Tisun Sumu Hau Asi Eche Omu. That is why the doctors can tell what a spiritual disease is. Such doctors are very sincere. Enuntina sa a doctor for no etumi kan de eye sunsun mu yare no. Sa doctor for no omudi no kraba. They tell the pastors that they are only human. 
it is only God who has the ultimate solution. Such doctors put the pastors who put their trust in them to shame. Yes. Omo pachira sofo ni se omo omo ye nipa keke e nyame ko an e ne wo nsa no ni ya. Sa dokuta fo no omo e she asofo no a omo di omo re she omo mo no e ni wo pa. What such doctors want to tell the pastors is that you put your trust in us but we don't have all the solutions. Yeah. Yes. Dear sir, a doctor for no, a patron sir, a soft for no, and he say, Modi Mori, I say, you know, now he's just like he knew he saw a doctor. If a medical doctor can see this and judge rightly about a spiritual disease, and the man who claims to be the servant of God, who knows everything. Cannot see or judge rightly about what goes wrong with church people spiritually. It is very, very shameful. Hi. Se dokuta ni tumi hunu wei. Na se obua ten ye fa sun sumu yari yon. Na beba nwa onne siye se oyo nyamina. O huna diye ina na kwa. En tumi hunu na omua ten ye enfa diye ha. A sorry for who soon so more. A new papa, 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 papa. It denotes that such preachers don't understand spiritual things. They don't know God and his capabilities. They only preach about him for money. I see a chase. Sansem Pacafono, Omunti, soon so more, Sam, I see. Omundi Miami. Eni ni obetu miya ye. Omo kane huwa se mkwa. Edi apeska. If today's pastors really know God. And are endowed with his power. Demons will not inflict their church members. With all sorts of demonic ailments. For them to die prematurely. Se neya sofwe ni miya me pa. Ena omo woni tu miya. Anka damoni ntumi mfa wamo yari ye bebre. Entu asore foso. Ema wamo ngu wabra. Omo ngini biya. They will not refer their church members to medical doctors to belittle God. Wamo mfa wamo asafu manu enko dokuta foho. Na wamo mbu nyame enemtia. Enyen kitu webi. They will pray for God to heal the sick for the doctors to see the power of God. And yeah. come on, Pompeii, as I yare for no yare, I'm a doctor for no ehunyangu pontu mi pa. And demonic ailments like leukemia, diabetes, epilepsy, stroke. Cancer, heart disease, high blood pressure, and many more will not kill church people when doctors give up on them. Nanka damoni yari ebi ti se moja aye fi e sitre yari e chire bubua kukura mo yari e akuma yari e moja broso. Any bebre kika honu. Anka enkum asore fo. Wabra doctor fo se. Waya hon vya ye ye. When a doctor says someone will die. The person will surely die. But doctors don't have the final say. Neche se. Se doku teni kase obi bewua. Eye deya ni pade bewu. Nansu so. Enye doku ta fo. It is God who has the final say because it is He who controls life. Yeah. 
But because even preachers don't believe in the supernatural power of God, that is why they make it seem as if what doctors say is final. And so it's an impo. And some pack of one gin and coupon to me when I swore a nino. And untina or mumane come here to say, the doctor beckano and only cut one. Let me ask such preachers some questions. Have you ever heard that a medical doctor died from all the sicknesses I just mentioned before? Have you ever heard that? If the answer is yes, why didn't he kill himself? What did I say? Yaria, Mabu Bobo Bosso, CCA, a beer cum docuta debida. So see, Anna dear, and then me be sassy. I didn't know no one casa one son. It should tell you that. Doctors are also susceptible to demonic attacks. Mm -hmm. Demons can also attack them with their evil diseases for them to die. I was such a was say, Doctor Fonso, um, bit me do my yard a bonny no atwash on so a moment. That should tell you that doctors cannot cure every disease. That is why in the medical circles, this term is always used. The cause is unknown. As they say, Kasachre will say, "Enye yari biya na doctor for beti miasa. Enunti na wamoa wamo ye yari huwe juma ina mono. Eya wamo kasa semwe. Say, die edi ba ye no die." Him. He denotes that medical doctors are only human and don't know the causes of many diseases. It is only God who can know. Hallelujah. As CHS said, Doku tafoye nipa daseni. Na wamu ntumi hunu yaribia faribayi. Any dear coffer by it. Nay, young coupon quang and a bit me on. And if it is only God who can tell the cause of a spiritual problem or disease, then it is He we should seek, not any human being. Now, say, young quang and a bit me a tre, dear, yeah, yeah, soon, soon be how be by it. And now say, Yari be by a dear. And then, as I say, or no, you have any brothers and be It is very wrong and abnormal for the shepherd who takes care of the flock of God, who has power to cure every disease that may attack his sheep, to take the sheep to a human being for cure when they are sick. A young from Swa. Na e eh, mwa mwa se, o gwan fye fwa, o she, nyan koupon nyan e sonu. A, o o tu min se, o di be sa yari e biyara, be tu a she, ni nyan e sonu. O di nyan e no be kwa koma ni pada se, ni se, o nsa o mo yari e. That is how today's pastors are. They forget the one they work for. They forget that they are shepherds, of the flock of God. But when God's sheep is sick. They take the sheep to a human being. For him to kill them. They forget that. They work for God. Who has all the power. To heal every disease. That may attack his sheep. Omu refise, omu ye nyan shefwa, omu she nyan kupa on nyan so. Enunti na se nyan no e yari ya. Omu di nyan no kome nipa da se ni se, on sa won yari ya. Omu refise, nyan kupa on omu ye juma manono. O tu miya, ube tu mdi asani nyan yari ya. 
Huh? That is very, very strange. And then one more power. That is the wrong judgment of pastors that I'm talking about. When you attend chair, a soft make a one seven. If today's pastors know that they shepherd God's flock and also believe that God is the healer, they wouldn't lift up doctors and belittle God. Senea sofwa nim se omu yen nan shefwa omu shen yan kupon yaiso. Now friends usu omu jidi se nyan kupon ne ye yare safwa anko omu ma dokuta foso na omu ma nyame e nyakitekiti. It is very interesting that medical doctors themselves acknowledge that the causes of many ailments are unknown. And many of them also seek spiritual powers for their practice. But pastors who work for God don't have spiritual knowledge or power, but refer church members to medical doctors. It is very, very interesting. Hey, Nikan say, Doku tafuan kasa jitumu se, Yariye bebre fari bayin, Eni diye ye ye adi bano, Omu ntumi hunu. Afen susu, Omu duduwa na kope sun sun mutumi, Ene diye omu juma. Nen susu, Osofwa, Odo ye juma man yameno, Odo momu diyo, Ni sun sun mune diye biya, Edi tumi, Na oswa asafubano edi won eko bansa doku tafono. Unse e di kapa. Such pastors don't see what the doctors see. They don't understand what the doctors understand. That spiritual knowledge and power are very, very important if anyone wants to solve physical problems. Sa asafono. Womu hunu di adoku tafone hunu. Na womu nim di adoku tafone enim. Se. Sun sun mu nim diye eni tu mi diye. E hu niya pa. Se ni pe biya pe se oso honemu haobi anwa. It is very very sad. That the pastors can see what the doctors see. Eya reho pa 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 pa. Se a software in tibi hunu. Diye doku tafone hunu. It's all because regarding spiritual knowledge and power, such pastors are bankrupt. Nina Sichreni say, Se basu sumu nimi diye eni tumia. Sa sofu wano omu dampai. Shini omu mu. Omu nimi shinzo. That is why they think that in terms of the human body and its malfunctions, it is the expertise of medical doctors, yeah. not God. Mm. That is why when someone is sick, they say that, take the person to the hospital to see the doctor. Mm. What has that got to do with the pastor or a church? That is the wrong judgment I'm talking about. Anuntina, omo patre se, se bani pedriane on sem, and I said, Chime biara beto mudia. And the doctor for any name hojima. And yen yame. And untina obi yare omo kase. Ah, obi yare a fan kwa yare sabi. I didn't know the nekwas on it. And nefas of obey. And untina omo kasa sadu. And none atenciano make a one seven. Such a mindset makes God incapable. To know what is wrong in someone's body. I dream at this hour. A patch is in your mind to me, who know the atochima or nipadas and be any pedium. Such pastors don't know that God endows his servants with spiritual knowledge and power to help people out of demonic situations. Sars of one name say, Nyan kupon de sun sun mu nim diye eni tu mi e manen kwa. Na ye di abuwa nipa. Amo omofri adabone tibi e biyara obekomu emu. 
Even some people of the world know the role of the servants of God more than many of today's preachers. Yeah. That was why in the Bible days, some kings, queens, nobles, politicians, influential and discerning people sought for God's servants for guidance and deliverance from demons. Anuntina wo Bible mremunu ahimfubinum ahima adishye amanyofuo etitre eni nipa wo hunumunu wo shushye nyankupon kwa e wo akenye any ojia or benya, a dear free Adamon in Semino. They understood the role of God's servants. Omo te nyankupon kwa jumedia na omo dino asi. That was why when King David had the intention of building a house for God, he first informed Prophet Nathan about his intention. An act of his opinion. Enuntina wabra eba ohini David a juni muse na opese osi a sorry dying edi manya meno o kana jeno etre odi for neta kani eno bisano najeri. King David sought counsel from Prophet Nathan because it was always his style to inquire from the Lord. David knew that he couldn't do anything without God's guidance. Oh, yeah. David, I should share a foot of free or deep for Nathan. Ho, a son said, Debia, son, and oye, said, Obeshi, share a radi and him. Not David in him, say, Unto me, ye be bia, Wabra, young coupon, a candy, and come. That was also why King Ahab and King Jehoshaphat called for God's prophet, Micaiah, to inquire from him concerning the war that they intended to embark on. The kings saw the need to ask for God's guidance from the servant of God before they went to war. Mm-hmm. King Nebuchadnezzar also knew that the spirit of the Holy God was in Daniel. That was why he told his dream that troubled him that none of his magicians could interpret to Daniel for Daniel to interpret it for him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> King Nebuchadnezzar knew that explaining spiritual secrets was not a problem to Daniel at all. Ohini Nebuchadnezzar who said, Say, na ochre susumo hintasem aseno. Nanya how emma Daniel kra. That was why he confided in Daniel. Enunti eno kana semina edichre Daniel. That was why when the astrologers and soothsayers of King Belshazzar couldn't interpret the spiritual writing that God wrote against the king, it was the same prophet Daniel 
whom the queen called to give the interpretation. Enua susunti ena wabra nyankupon etro etro susumu asembidi tia ohene belshaza nane konya ifo ne ne ntafo ifo antumi anchrase no eyo difo dane kroya eno hema no e friend se o mechrase the queen described daniel with the same words that king nebuchadnezzar described daniel with that the spirit of the holy god was in him asemwa ohema no ekafa daniel ho no asem kro no abi ena ohene nebuchadnezzar so so ekafa daniel ho se onyame kron kron ne ho ho no e woni mo the queen continued to say that Daniel had an excellent spirit, knowledge and understanding, interpretation of dreams, solving riddles and explaining enigmas. You see, the kings and the queen saw Daniel that he was endowed with God's gift. That was why they always resorted to him when they got stuck in spiritual things. Ohima no to aso kan se na Daniel e wo hunhun a na e ye pepe pe ane mfonso biara ene hun na owo nimde na owo ntiase na otumi kire daye ase na ahinta sem ene awen sem ina so so na Daniel otumi kire ase wo hun se sa ahemfo no ne ohima no hun se na nyankopon chede pa e wo daniel bu enu nti na bre biara wo pim wo sunsum ne mamu no o dane wani e de kire no and in the new covenant during the days of the lord jesus christ on earth a high ranking soldier came to him and asked him to pray for his servant who was lying at home paralyzed and was dreadfully tormented yeah. in Matthew chapter 8 enun tuntina wo apamfufuru mu no awo awrade yesu christo nanu mu ewo asasi so enso o srani panyi bi ba ne ho e be srani se obon pa ye manako a na ne ho adjujuo na o dafie na adamoni e hye no so na o tete no pa no ewo Matthew asempa ti mochi It was because the officer knew what was in the Lord Yeah Asi tse ni se na sa osre ni panyi no na onim de ne wo eradim That the Lord had and still has all the power So when the Lord said he will go and heal his servant the officer said no 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 the lord should only speak a word at where they were and his servant will be healed at home hallelujah Amen. and truly that was what happened when the lord spoke a word of healing at that same hour the servant was healed at home Amen. hallelujah that was the demonstration of the power of god the word from the mouth of the lord had power Amen. that is what i want today's so called pastors and prophets to see that the words of god's servants have power behind Amen. and he said Eradi Yesu Kristo wo na ogusu a wo tumi nyina anu nti wa bre Eradi Yesu Kristo ka se obekko na akosa na ko anu yare no osra ni nu ka se Eradi dabi 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 o ka se Eradi nka sembi e wo bebia na wo mo wo no na na ko anu e benya yare sa e wo fie ei na no kwase bi ni sa pepepepe ne si ye wa bre Eradi 
ka ayare sasem wo ba bia na omugina no abro no mu ha akwa no to no wo fie hallelujah amen to me pa e wo yakopon ko ye no sana me pese nei wo mo mo na si ese wo mo ya sofo no mo ye edifo no wo mo hu se se yakopon ko akasa to me pa e die chire hallelujah that representing god here on earth is not a small thing and he say who sing am your name wo asasi so hano enye adeketwa as servants of god we represent the almighty god the omniscient god and the omnipotent god in whom is wisdom knowledge healing and salvation say ye ye nyankopon kwai ye si onyame tumfo anemu onyame a hunade nyina anemu eni nyame a owo tumi wade nyina sososo anemu ani muna nyansa nimdie ayarisa eni nkwanjie ewo that is what today's preachers don't know they don't know that the role of a servant of god is very very important why is it so it's because they don't know god enu na nei nsem pakafo no nim no wo mu nim se nyankopon kwa dumedia edi na asasi so ha no e ya de kese pa 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 ho hia pa na wo mu ntumi hu no we e fi se wo mu nim nyame they don't know god so they don't have all his attributes that is why a pastor can say that as for me i am only the man of the word mm. as if when you preach nothing should happen you just preach to church people take their money and go home mm. and when they are sick you refer them to a medical doctor that is very shameful wo mun ni nyame enti wo mun ni nyame akyade eni ne suina enu nti na e ya obeti na sofo bi ka se ye ya ye de ya ye ka sem no obeka se wo yo nyame akoa wo de wo kan nyame asem keke e de kira safo ma na wo ji o mu sika wi a na wo kofie o mu yare a na de o ma koma adokuta fo se o mu sa o mu yare e ni wu pa 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 that is not what the ministry of god servants is about yeah it's true enye sa na we don't take people's money through dubious means and when they are sick we refer them to medical doctors for healing yemfa kwamboni so engine pesika ne so mo yare a ne di o makoma doctor for say o mo nsa won yare If that is what you do in your church you are a spiritual robber you rob church people of their money and hand them over to medical doctors se sana we ye wo wa sori mo wo ye sunsun mu awi wo ji asafo manu sika eni won japade na wo wi a na wa dane wo mo akoma doctor fo se won sa wo mo yare What is also sad is that the so-called pastors and prophets of today cannot even interpret the dreams of their church members. The sansu su ya reho ani se enei wo mo asie se wo mo ya sofo ani adifo no wo mo ntumi mpo nkyere wo masafo ma diase. And another shameful thing is that the pastors and prophets themselves have demonic diseases 
that they always have to see the doctor. <laughs> it's very, very shameful. And if demons can attack a pastor or a prophet with their evil diseases, how can they help you when you also have a spiritual disease? Eh? Nadie Biwa, a Sanye New Sebede say, a soft one on your deep one and Casaso, Omo Adam on the Yaria, Debia, Omoko Doctor for a new papa. Na se Adam oni etimi tushe asofu oni e di fo so e di omu yari boni ni ma omu e di na uwa safu bansu se uu su nye su su mu yari ya ombe da bwa u o di me mwa u I want church goers to understand that it is very very strange if your pastors cannot determine what troubles you spiritually mi pesa asore ko fo ti asye se e ye mwa mwa pa 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 so we suffer to men the house soon some more. And it is very shameful to have a sick bay on the church premises for the sick church members to go to the nurses who work there for treatment. Ne sansu so ye ni wu se ye be si dan bia ye sa yare ewom e wa so na asase so ne sansa fo ma no yare ya ni aka che o mo nko I are a chef for no more, you man ho. Not one more so, my yard. Hey, new pa. Where is God in that church? Where is he? Can't the God that the pastor preaches about to the church members heal the sick church people? Eh? Nyanku pon wo hen. I was answering. Nyamia sofu no ka ni huwa semtre asafo manu. Unti minsa asafumanu yare ana. Eh? And you, the church member, are you also okay with that? That you go to church, they just preach to you, take your money, and when you are sick, they can't help you? Are you okay with that? Na unsu so awi asafumanu. Unsu so, wani ji unsa. Se ube kwa sorry. A Kenyan semicha o keke. Nesa we are ya. Omun to me and saw yare mwawana. Open is I will continue God willing next week. Yame ya dumwa da sene metwaso. My point today is if you are wise, follow the pastor who represents God and has God's power to deliver you when demons attack you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Masse mwa me can say. Se we nyan senia. Di o sofwa. O jina nyan kupon anemono echi. Nase adamoni tu sha uswa. O nyan kupon to me se. O be jiu a fi womu sem. E wo yesu de monti. Amen. Amen. If you want to be under the protection of my Lord Jesus Christ, give your life to him by praying this prayer with me. And after that, come to church for me to train you how to live holy to please God. So, I said, 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 I Lord Jesus, I thank you for speaking to me today. I accept that I am a sinner. But from this day forward, I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are the only Lord. Yes, Forgive me of all my sins. And write my name in the book of life. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in me. And I will live a holy life to please you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name.
Amen. Father, thank you for speaking to people, for them to see who you are and what you endow your servants with and what your church is about so that they will run to you for salvation and healing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Every <laughs> 105.7 Ukwada eni fiada enyumri no mso Ushisha ye chila kwa insua Ya wo Kasi kurodu ya numuwa Na main road na eda Kasi kurodu munu Ube huse abatu anu E ube nkumsua Ni faso filling station si bitu watu aso Di edi kani di etosu minu Di etosu minu ni nchemu wa E kwa insu eda husa ni kofo Ufa from wa kusi for be try and co be be buma be holy lad bo rem and neck we see down or pay a sumni and on kum u kuada and you mean on nifa a ye bible at this year and a fiada and you mean on nifa so a ye bible and nay papa be who said ye ra yesu christo a ye dine chino or ba we are said no ni pa be bre to dine chi di yare ahodo 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 e bre no o sa ni na yare e sa se tu mi ni na e ye ni dia e na wo se ono ne ye yare safo na se se so e kam ye ye se asofo no e ni mi se nyame ni ye yare safo e sa se wo man ka se ni tu mi ya wo mi tini de bom pa ye e je wo mo asafo ma ni e free Ya reboni ya ahuhumwane ya she wamoso. Isa anse wuko hospital la. Doctor Snibi to me kase. Ya riye wedye enye hospital ya riye. Nye mu mfa kwa mpa ebo wo baby. Na chile anse. Ya riye nibi wa wa wama akura wumu nimi ni faribaye. Ne bro wamoso. Na ade nti ena wuwa asosofu. Wuni kaya mu mpa ye ma wasafo manu. Sa ahuhumwane tu ya reboni yugu wamoso wa. Nye mu mpa. O boy, I read us our safe hospital. Na so doctor said, Push you share who who more bambo. Eddie Amo Homo. No, almost so crampo, ya read me to cool or more. I then I woo her. Yamiamo to me, as soon see to me, you know. We wait to me, dear Mompire, sa yare. Womb to me, Mompire, mama, suffer man. I hear Edum Guassi, some Emma, a software, Tetessa. Na I reho. Semi we ya dear be a ye kwa cro na home one in atu a shabi swa. Me wa sorry me to yes si kabi ye bi bea nen so e basse u sofu so be wa femu dia unti binye ne mum nu are fair me semen ko o doctor ni ho a we ye di panda se nia when ni se to me no ewe ya yesu. So uye sofu na sa na utia si utrasi wen gwasi na bompa ye ni ya mi moun to me. And I hear a set to me, and I found Boa was Safoma. Now, Momo so, and Yahoo Tosso, a winner be to me, a woman, I say, that Yamisha, Amen. Amen, Mama. Onya, me jiddy say, Wahoo, dear friend in Yami. Wahoo, dear friend in Nakua. Wahoo, Juma, Nakua, and a watty, dear friend, a sorry, so so, I see. A sorry, near as I see, so cool. I was sorry, called Dom Keke. Na sunsu mun semba in sa no bia eniho. Yes an asorite. Se oko doma sorbi. Na sunsu mu yen to me mbuawa. Nyan kupa ni demo. Why? Kwe baby en yamewo. I sa wat tu My dear, I believe that you have understood who God is, the role of his servants, and what church is about. That we don't just join a church where when you are beset with spiritual problems, no one can help you. 
that is not what church is about. So if you are in a church where the pastor cannot help you spiritually, God is not present. Find a church where God is present that he can always stretch forth his healing hand and touch you when you are sick. That is what action power is about. My Lord is present. His power is active. And all the people in action power are free from demonic oppression. That is why God wants me to tell the whole world all the time that with God all things are possible. God bless you. Bless you.